My baby is an angel. Thomas was born on the 8th of December and he hardly ever cries. He always has a smile on his face and he's curious about everything. He loves the world. And when he was 11 months, he started sleeping a bit more than usual. He started having trouble feeding, like he had no appetite, he cried all the time and his breathing started to sound quite laboured. He quickly started coughing as well. He had a, a fever and I was scared. My husband and I took him to the hospital and he was immediately put on IV antibiotics and given oxygen. Seeing him there, looking so helpless, hooked up on all those tubes, it was heartbreaking, thinking of it now. No mother should have to go through that. So they did lots of tests and um, they told us that he had bacterial pneumonia. And we waited for the antibiotics to work their magic but they never did. My baby had an infection that was resistant to the drugs that the, doctor needed, the doctors needed to save his life, and he became septic. The infection was spreading through the rest of his body, and he had to be transferred to an intensive care unit, and they tried everything. They tried new combinations of antibiotics, blood transfusions, you name it. They did everything they could. And finally, the last round of antibiotics, they tried, started to show signs of helping. And my baby boy was getting better. Thomas was discharged from the hospital three weeks after he was admitted, and he's been able to lead a normal childhood now. And it's like the pneumonia never happened. But every day, I'm very grateful that he is still in our lives and we got to keep our baby boy. But as we left the hospital that day, I couldn't help but think of all those poor mothers and fathers who weren't and won't be, and as lucky as we have been. So that was a wake-up call to the importance of antibiotics and the importance of preserving them. So from now on, I will always make sure that I only use antibiotics where absolute, absolutely necessary, and um, I follow the prescription to the letter and always finish the course. We need to make sure that these life-saving drugs can continue to save lives.